Hello, my lovely Sagittariuses. So, you got a lot going on. You got a whole lot going on. Um, the first thing for you to know is that there is somebody in deep remorse and deep inner turmoil, and they are going, they are spinning out of control. Um, you were a lesson to them, right? Because some people in this life will be either a lesson or a blessing and I even hear like they had a problem with admitting when they were wrong and hitting them all at once so you got somebody who they did love you because I hear like I love you they did love you but they loved you in a very unhealthy way and for some of them I hear like reading you to filth you know, so this this could be like taking their anger out on you. You know, somebody could have been into like popping pills because like perks. Big, sorry. Somebody into pills, whatever, whatever they got going on, into drugs. So the issue is whatever they done to you, they have a lot of karma and it's at its intensity. It's like at its peak. Because right now it's like a lot of spiritual warfare. This person wants you back so bad. They want you back real bad. The issue is this person is very karmic. They're very toxic. And and I hear isolating yourself. You could have isolated yourself from this person. You you are aware that they want you back. Some of them some of them could be ringing off your phone. All right. The issue is let me let me tell you, baby. You are so protected. You have ancestors. You have, I hear, blocking them to keep them far away from you. All right? People need to be careful. Even if this person tried to, like, practice witchcraft to call you back in or whatever, whatever they got going on. Some people don't even have to do it. What it is, is like their intensity. Suppose they, have a, they had a soul contract with you. And some of you, I hear, hitting you. Some of them could have been very, very violent. They could have been very destructive. They could have even like alcohol poison. Some of them, and not, not at all of them, but some of them could even have issues with addictions, with addictions. Um, Cause I even hear porno. They could have, they could have watched porn a lot. They, all kinds of issues, sexual addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions. And that's not going to be for every one of them, but it's going to be for some of them. They just had a lot of a lot of mental and emotional issues and used to use excuse after excuse after excuse some of you used to take them back a lot let me let me tell you and try to destroy your reputation without you even knowing it baby you can't destroy my reputation and come try to be back with me that's number one that's where you first got it twisted this person got it all wrong they got the game twisted Sagittarius I got you um you don't trust them anymore and you don't want to have to keep going down to their level. So the issue with this person, they're going through a lot of grief. They're going through a lot of suffering. They're going through a lot of turmoil. And you you might feel their, their I hear extended of olive branch. You could have even, you could have even had a time where you wanted to help them. You could have tried to extend them some help. And they could have uh, disrespected you or they could have took the help that you gave them for granted. Either way, you are done. Okay, you are done, you are done, you are done. And you're meant to be done anyway, right? Because I feel like for you, Sagittarius, you could be going through a period of, um, I hear strong attachment. They, the issue is they had a strong attachment to you and they, they were unstable. The thing is, anything that they tried to like put on you, it's like it's being returned. And if you feel their energy or if you feel pulled, you know, like you're in your room or you're working or, you know, you're at work, you're minding your business. You could be even out and all of a sudden you feel like their energy. You feel their energy. Sometimes you may even feel like, is it, should I call them? Is it meant for me to call them? The answer is no. Shut it down. You, you are being tested right now. And honestly, to, to be honest with you, Sagittarius, be real strong about your energetic boundaries right so we have physical boundaries but then we need spiritual boundaries energetic boundaries to to 
protect us from people who try to steal your energy from a distance. Baby, you need to learn, return to sender, straight up. Where Sagittarius, sir, at this moment, as you see this part, you feel the energy trying to pull on your heartstrings or you, you know, some of them could even be in the bed and masturbate into you, which will send you a strong chemistry of energy where you feel like, damn, I miss them. It's them. What you need to do is close your eyes, get into a real deep medita meditative state and return back energy to sender. Return it back energy to sender. T return it. Return it. It ain't yours. It ain't got nothing to do with you. It ain't got nothing to do. Sagittarius, look, look at me. <laughs> Call on your ancestors. The people in the afterlife that you know is, is, is a heavenly presence in your world. Call in whoever you got to call in to protect you. I heard, I heard sage. I even heard sage. Even whatever you got to do to shield and protect your energy. But it's so important that no weapon formed against you will ever prosper. You got to know that. You got to know that there's people that, that are, are beyond this life that can shield you and protect you. Call on Archangel Michael. Baby, baby, he protect you. Put the white light all over you. Imagine a white light all over you. Evil eye them. You 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 send that crap back. It's it's not it's not your fault, and it's not your responsibility to take on somebody's evil energy, somebody's darkness, somebody. Baby, they need to they need to get back together. So just to let you know, anybody trying to show up in your world or this, this since you're going through a, a a huge, I hear isolation. Some of you sagittarius could be in isolation right now. I hear I hear venting to you. You have people who gonna be venting to you. You know, you're, but I also hear pouring into you. You will benefit from people who can pour into you the way that you can pour into them. That's the issue. You you are supportive and you're encouraging and you pour into people. And you, well, I hear showing up. You know, if they're not in your life right now, you are going to have people show up who know how to pour back into you. Baby, that well would never run dry. Some of you guys are depleted because you are extending yourself beyond you should, beyond what you should you you your cup is empty because you you are pouring from an empty cup and ain't nothing coming back leave them people to be where they are the reason why i'm trying to say this is because you could be you could be tested right now you're going you you know so it's like spiritual attacks trying to come for you why because it's like it's darkness behind you you leaving some people behind Ooh. Nasty. I just like, oh, also too, it's, um, you're going through a huge rebirth, you know, you're going through a huge rebirth. So spirit wants you to challenge yourself. They want you to challenge yourself. Don't, don't allow this energy to overpower you. You know, I, I just even hear like endless love is, is flowing to you. And I don't know if this is a mantra or if this is really flowing to you. I think it really is flowing to you. Some of you, you could already be with a new lover at the at the present moment. And what it is, it's like you are with somebody. You left you left the old person. You're with somebody new and you still feel their energy behind you trying to call you back in. Some of you are even here grief counselor. You could be researching for grief counselors or you could be going to grief counseling. You could be a grief counselor yourself, but there's something to do with grief counselor. And I hear there's good news that's coming your way. So let me tell you. You are walking in un, unchartered territory. So you you have a brand new season. Let me let me just make this very clear to you. Yeah, I hear it again, under attack. And it's because your energy is so contagious. People don't know what they have with you until it's gone. Now you got these, these empty souls trying to grip onto you. This is why you have to make sure your spiritual tank is full. Baby, even if you just pray, even if you just read one verse from Proverbs, just read one verse, you know, or just or just pray. Like get you, get your white candles and just pray. Don't don't allow the darkness to consume you. Do not allow people to steal your energy. Now this is the biggest thing because I see somebody may try to come to your house with flowers and they may want a new a new chance with you. There may even be people trying to show up and acting as if they're different now. 
because they want you. I hear struggling. They're struggling. They needed you. And you know what it is? There's people who see how powerful you are. They see how gifted you are. They see how sweet you are and intelligent. Many of you are very, very intelligent. They're very stimulated by you. They see how other people love you and, and draw to you. So it's like they know how amazing that you are. They know that in any second you can go and have whoever you want. But what they will do is try to plant hurtful seeds on you so that you won't know how, how amazing and great you are. But it looks like some of you could be to the place where you are so sick and tired of that crap. You ain't really trying to play with it no more, you know? So I just want to tell you, hold your head up. Stand strong on your values. Stand strong on your boundaries. This is not the time for you to fall and crumble when it, when all this energy comes towards you. Because it's like, and I hear this is a warning. And that, that sucks. I know, you know, I know this is not a type of reading that you may want, but it's like a warning. Like, it's, the Spirit is warning you. You probably see uh, angel numbers all over the place. Or you driving and you see a truck go by and it's, it has words and stuff all over it billboards and spirits are trying to get to you you know um people may try to say that you're, you're jumping to conclusions or they may try to gaslight you and this is why it's important this is why meditation is important because it doesn't matter when you meditate right when you meditate and when you're in isolation you get to know peace you get to know what it feels like when there's nothing in your energy field at all. You you are clear and connected, right? You meditate. And when you meditate, you connect to the divine, right? So your higher self, is you tapped into your higher self. Just and it, it, five minutes, five minutes. Sit down for five minutes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five minutes. Give yourself five minutes just to... Make sure that you're tapped in. Why? So your so your intuitive antennas can be sharp. So that it don't matter what nobody come like, come at you and what they look like. You know? Some of them they 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 couldn't even get a job and they want to come back. Oh, I finally found a job. You did? Let me see your employer no notice. Let me see. Let me make sure you really got a job. You don't fall for the manipulation. Don't fall. Don't allow somebody to gaslight you to go back to where you graduated from. I feel like this is the warning. Don't let nobody. And I also hear consoling you. So the, be the beautiful thing, stay close to those right now who you can lean on for support and for encouragement. You need it. And for prayer, lean on Lean on the strong friends that have what you have so that when you're weak, they can help you be strong and vice versa. That's that's honestly, that is an even exchange of energy. All right. Um, be careful, too, of people trying to ask you for money, because, you know, suppose suppose you you just got a higher position, you got a higher position or. You, you had a change in your income and you could have been celebrating it and someone notices that you are coming into money. So that all of a sudden they want to cling on to you and they want to um, ask you if they can borrow money. Be careful of who you lend money to. Don't never give what you don't have. Don't if you don't have it. And that's my that's my rule of thumb, baby. I'm not putting myself out to, to help somebody else. The issue is with, with with this whole new rebirth that you're going to, that you're going through right now. It doesn't pay to be loyal to someone else that is, that is disloyal to you. Because in the end, this is where resentment starts to form, rage, anger, because you pouring into people that ain't pouring into you. And in the end, you end up resentful. You wish you never met them. Like what spirit is trying to say, you can, you have an opportunity to cut the cords. You don't have to go back and forth with nobody. It's like, it's like, it's important for you. Even like four, four things about yourself, right? Four things about yourself on an index card that you know are your strengths and read them to yourself. Why? You're going to need to hold on tight to who you are because some people, when they're impulsive, they will say anything to you just to, to make you spiral out of control. That's what they do. That's what the, by the way, that's what devil energy is. Devil energy comes in to cause you chaos. 
right? Anybody who comes into your world and brings chaos and confusion, that's devil energy. So just, just know that. Just know that God is not about chaos and chaos and dysfunction and if you if you really want to know because you can be on the verge like should i go back to this person is this person for me if they're bringing too much chaos into your world that that is not from god you know like god is like peace and love unconditional love and a sound mind so just just know that you will know who who is supportive of you who who brings life into you and who just sucks that shit you ever have a conversation with somebody when you done you like oh you got to take a whole lavender sea salt bath. I haven't heard like taking your pictures. You may, you may even have people who are spying on your social media or trying to like use your pictures to like call you in. Baby, you better, let me tell you something. Spiritual warfare, you're going to need prayer for. You know, not, not everything crystals baby you gonna need something stronger than a crystal but make sure you wear them you want to wear your crystals you want to shield and protect yourself and and by the way if you if you especially you know obsidian stones you want obsidian stone the black stone it, it will help protect you from from negative energy but so this is my altar right i got candles on it i got flowers on it i got i got um feathers on it. i got all kinds of stuff right i think i even have an acorn on it i got all kinds of stuff right this is this is where I pray in the morning. This is this is where I go to. I light my candles and and then you use all these things on your altar and what it does is it intensifies the energy, right? So you pray and you you connect it and it's like everything is drawing into you. You need all this energy to shield you. So so find I keep talking about protection. I protect yourself, shield yourself. Go out into nature. Nature if you go out into nature, you go over by the water that's the that's the quickest way to like remove all the all that like energy from you especially if you're a spiritual healer you got to know how to make sure that you um and even spirits just said to me oils use oils and vacuum make sure that you vacuum up your floor clean keep your house and your area like clean use nice um beautiful scents it will it will keep your vibration high especially when people are trying to like you know and i don't even really like to like talk about this because what happens is people get paranoid. People get paranoid when they when you talk about things like this and then they get so scared and fearful that th what they what what energy the person is bringing you is stronger than your than your angels. You get so paranoid that what if what if they what if their plan works? How? 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 When all power belongs to God, you know the highest. You know? If all power belongs to the highest, how? How is darkness going to come and touch you? Baby, you untouchable and you just need to know that. That's what I'm trying to say. Find a prayer. Even if you write a prayer on an index card and just read it in the morning and just sit by your altar, do a small prayer and then just go. But don't just leave your spirit vulnerable and open to spiritual attacks. Don't don't let that happen to you, Sagittarius. Don't let it, don't let it happen. So it just trying to, it's just obviously... You must have been all that, a bag of chips, some dip and a soda and some ice cream on the side. Because who would make, like, like this? if this whole, now I'm getting angry. If this whole reading is about you protecting yourself from people who are trying to, um, oh, it's first, don't ignore your angels. Don't ignore your angels. You know? You got people who are jealous of you and, and on the outside looking into your life and, you got all kinds of things going on with you right now. But but what it is, it will draw you closer into your spiritual world. And that's what it's meant to do. This is what I'm saying. Like Spirit says, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Take look at look at a higher perspective in the situation. They're calling you into them. And all this negative, dark energy and all that, it's gonna make you pray more. It's gonna make you pray more. I've been here up late at night, you know, some of you. Ooh, I just heard filing for divorce. Some of you guys could be filing from for divorce. Um. All right. And rumors, people trying to spread rumors on you and all kinds of stuff. See what I'm saying? There's so much spiritual warfare that's going on, and you, you, I'm talking about, baby. You got to learn how to be a prayer warrior, a spiritual warfare. You're gonna, you're gonna need to be suited up, baby.
this is what spirit wants from you anyway. They want you to draw closer to them. You know, you can't get fulfillment from, from people who have darkness in them. Sagittarius, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? I don't know why I just said that. Are you are you doing okay? <laughs> are you doing okay? This is why many of you are still like working on self-worth and your your image. Some of you your image. Um and you struggle. You baby, I see you struggling with your diet. You try so Some of y'all like, it's not fair because last year I was this size. I was able to fit into these jeans and this shirt. And it's not fair. Like, it's harder for you now to lose weight. You had it maybe last year. But last year, last year, last year, it could have been easier for you. And it, baby, that food is giving you a hard time. You know what, too? You have a lot of anxiety and you probably uh, find more comfort in food because your anxiety shoots up so high. You, baby, you be get, you be eating. It's okay. Some of you feel so sad and alone. You do. You feel so sad and alone. But you, you're not alone. You know, you're not alone. Like, sometimes in life, you need to go back to childhood when you feel alone. And, like, what comforted you during your childhood, you know? Like, for me, when I, I love teddy bears, you know? My mom wasn't, like, emotionally affectionate. So she would surround me with a lot of teddy bears. And to this day, I'm, I'm a grown woman. <laughs> I like the way that sounds, a grown woman. I'm a grown woman and I still love teddy bears, you know? So find find what comforts you. Um, But you, you are moving away from these dark energies that can't have me, baby. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. They can't have you. No, 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 no. They can't have you. <laughs> they can't have you, Sag. Why they want you so bad? They can't have you. Unless you let them. If you let them, they can have you. Don't let them have you again. Sag, don't let... Sag, don't let them have you again. Don't let them treat you that way. You don't deserve it. Some of you too, you have a you have a mom that you cry to and she feels bad, you know? She remembers when, when she was younger and she used to go through those things, you know? Even like you could have had a parent who like suffered from like suicidal thoughts because of, of what she or he been through. So some of some of you could have like really supportive parents. Some of you. And you they baby. You they sugar honey pie. They don't want nobody to hurt they baby. I'm one of them types of moms. Come for my baby. <laughs> I mean it. <coughs> Don't... <laughs> Baby, the way I I'll st the way I'll storm into a school real fast. Ooh, baby, when I storm into a school. Not my baby. Um somebody, somebody, oh. And this is what I'm saying. You you suffering in silence. You suffering in silence. And I'm gonna tell you why the battle is so hard. You're you're you have you have issues with food, over overeating or overindulging. Like you you have issues. Sometimes soulmates are just as bad as like a food addiction or a drug addiction. It's like you you yearn for them because of the passion that you have and it's hard right because in a sense they could have been in a sense they could have been comforting in a sense they could have provided you with a level of comfort or even if you you made love to them you could have um you want to be emotionally fulfilled and you may use sex as a way to get fulfilled or to feel love right because that's the that's the biggest level of passion is when you but i mean let me just say what I'm saying. When you when you have passion running through your body, people who are not emotionally available or know how to how to create intimacy may use sex for fulfillment. 
when the when the truth is you just want to be held and cuddled mm -hmm. you don't even really need to have the actual stimulation to get a level of intimacy and fulfillment just cuddling with somebody who you know loves you is enough but but anyway what i'm trying to say is you guys could have connected on such a strong passion level that you could be craving especially in moments like this when you feel alone when you feel alone and you feel like you're going through another spiritual rebirth and the anxiety shoots higher why because there is internal changes that you can't see right there's internal changes there's things being cleared away from your heart cleared away from your spirit and this is the way that spirit raises your vibration this is the only way and you can you can feel uh, fe uh fearful yeah you're fearful so if you keep like some of you too if you if you detach from a soulmate then you you feel emptiness right here in your heart there's like emptiness and your soul is searching for something you know so you might even use food for the hole in the soul that's you might feel but you you really just want to be held right now you want somebody to tell you baby i'll tell you <laughs> love what, what what's my name love wins my name is michelle but it, it's love wins on this channel and if you need the love baby i'm sending you love all through this uh screen and letting you know that you are safe you are safe baby it's gonna be okay you're gonna make it don't forget to pray and you are leaving it all this crap behind <sighs> can we all breathe together baby i need a drink <laughs> y'all y'all making me <laughs> y'all making me want to go back to my old ways <sighs> I love y'all. Who who gonna have a drink with me? <sighs> um but yeah, you're you're waiting. This is this is a big ending and you just you just want this time to come to an end. You you are just so fed up. You are just so fed up. Some of you guys are pissed at this person and, and you just want this this the feelings and everything just to be over some of you've been going through it with your parents that's another thing too some of you have been going through it with your parents and for some of you who are living with your parents you may be like they're unbearable you know and and you've been struggling a tug of war when it comes to your parents or someone in your family and i see somebody moving out or moving away so it's a, it's an eclipse there's an eclipse on the 25th and these energies are strong so if there were certain people or things that weren't aligned in line for you, I hear bathing. So let me let me hold up though. Some of some of you, some of you, I see a passion lover. I see somebody bathing you. <laughs> and rubbing your back with lavender oil. They they can tell when you're like when you when you're trying to pretend as if everything is okay. You can be as sad that you don't really like to pour your issues onto other people. And um whoever this person is, they they see you as their dream mate. They even see you with their baby. Let me tell you, if you got somebody in your life right now, they see you having their baby. They they see it. I see it. You making babies? You you making babies? If you're not, I just, I see something so beautiful. Like I see you like uh, having one of those, those births in a tub, you know, and a partner being behind you and rubbing your back. They so excited, but they know you're, in, you're in pain. Is some of you guys going into labor? If not, it's like what they want. It's like their dream fantasy. If this is not like a real thing. I see it clear as day. So it's somebody's fantasy or somebody can meet you and they just see you as they're forever already but I, no i hear like it's taking too long if you guys been going back and forth with each other they feel like damn this is taking too long like can i just impregnate you and just go down the damn aisle why we got to keep arguing for can we just it's like i said if you you have a, a some of you have a new a new person and the biggest thing they do they notice they feel like you have strong uh um alpha energy they think you strong and that you need tenderness, that you be hiding how you feel. That sometimes they think that when you argue, it's just because you want love. <laughs> they feel this way. They really do. So maybe you can be more of the dominant presence and, and 
And it's because some of you guys are, um, I hear a medical assistant. Some of you guys are medical assistants. You work in the medical field. And you can, um, some of you guys have your own business. Some of you even like your own uh, shirt line or your TV. You're on TV. You have a TV show. Some of you, you're waiting because you you want, um, I hear venting. You may vent to them and tell them like, you, you could have a series on Netflix or something and you hope that the, the show gets another, what is it called? Another season. They love your independence. They think you're strong. And they they wish they had like you you could be very a, a very disciplined a very disciplined Sag and they wish they had some of your character traits like the, they see a lot of strength in you and the and the strengths that you have they don't think they have but I hear pull apart sometimes you guys pull apart and then you come back together they only have eyes for you you are the the eye the apple of their eyes. They're happy that this is happening. So for instance, if you told them that who you <laughs> if you if you told them that you've been going back and forth with the, with your ex or and you know you you they're happy that it's happening. They want that person far away from you. They want you all to themselves. They want to be your better half. See, I knew it. You are done, baby. You are so done. But you see what I mean with the memories of love? Like every time you you over this person, you done moved on, find a new love, and then this person keep coming up in your dreams or you feel their energy trying to come for you. They can't, they, they holding on to you for dear life. Ooh, child. But they, they're, let me, let me tell you, they're going through it. They're going through it they're going they're doing bad it's awful i'll put a ring on your finger somebody want to marry you let me see spirit says they're teaching you how to be still how to be still how to be how to find peace and calmness in the storm whoo Put, put on music. That's what I do. I be dancing around this house. <laughs> um, music. I, I mean, music, right? I be, I play a lot of music and dance. Put on, like, cute outfits in the house, and I be dancing in the mirrors. And then, and then or running water. Find, find something to soothe you in this moment and just know that whatever is happening and i hear desperate they're they're just desperate they just want to see you they've been lying to you all this time you knew that that's why you cut them out in the first place you knew that they were a liar so secrets are revealed about the per see what i'm saying why why spirit wants you to be still is because you're just you're going through a huge energy shift do you hear me you got to leave them energy vampires behind. Look at the alchemy. And she's so beautiful. And if it's a man, it's okay. There's beautiful, there's beautiful men out there. Have you ever seen a man that is just so beautiful? Who? <laughs> they be beautiful men. So beautiful. I hear struggling with finances. You've been, you could have been struggling. See, baby, that, what did I say? Hush. You're going to be all right. That means you see five, five, five. Some of you, you, you have a hard time being optimistic or seeing the positives when everything seems like it's falling apart around you. You're just, you're just going through a renewal. Supernova activation. That made me think of Beyonce's song. What's that song? I do and for this world forever. No, is that the song? Ooh, baby. It is, right? 
Spirit wants you to challenge your thoughts when you're alone. Challenge your thoughts. What is it called? I don't want to tell you. They have this chart that's called... I can't. I can't. There's a chart. And it's for like cognitive behavioral therapy when they're trying to retrain, rewire your mind. And there's like a chart, right? You put the date, time, and then the next, the next column... What are your thoughts, right? What are your thoughts? And then what are the emotions from the thoughts? And then, <laughs> I'm trying. And then what are the emotions? And then with these emotions, what does it trigger you to do? And then once you take that action, how do you feel after? So it's just, it's just trying to help you be more mindful of your thoughts because for every thought that you have, so for instance, oh my God, I'm afraid, I think I'm gonna be a failure, right? You think I'd be a failure, especially if you, you know, you're working on things, oh my God, I think I'm gonna be a failure. I, I think it's not gonna work out for me. Those thoughts alone, baby, it cause you, it cause you fear, it cause you anxiety. And then because you're fearing your anxiety, what do you do? You're agitated. Now you find yourself, you know, somebody said, uh, oh, do you know where my shoe, no, I don't know where your shoe is. Ooh. sorry <laughs> snappy it's snappy and it's because of your fears your thoughts and your thoughts create anxiety and fears so they, they, they want you just to be mindful challenge your thoughts because once you can control your mind you can control your world like you you can't control your world because what you're going through right now is out of your control. But you can control yourself and you can still find peace even in the midst of a storm. What do you do when you're angry? How do you how do you handle your anger? Y'all, I'm done. I'm about to I'm about to go on to the extended. Somebody got caught stealing and they have to go back to prison. Yeah, rewrite your story. See? Karmic karmic clearing. So you're you're ending a very I hear horrific. Baby that baby. Baby. Halloween ain't got nothing on your story. Halloween wasn't scary, but your story was. Your that karmic story, it was worse than Halloween, baby. It was worse than Chuck E. Chase and Freddy Krueger. Rewrite your story. And some of you guys are still trying to like reinvent yourself and find out like what is it in my what am I meant to do? Why am I here in this world? I'm going on to the extended. I, I just um because I hear like even robbing Peter to pay Paul. Some of you guys are robbing Peter to pay Paul. Like back rent. Back rent is old. And I even hear signing a new lease. Some of you guys could be walking out your lease because you feel like with this new job, with this new job, you're you're not able to manage your bills. So you're, you're leaving because you need to, um, you've been living beyond your means because of a, of a switch of a, of a job or a decrease in pay. And you're uh, about to move into a new location where you'll be able to afford the rent. Spirit wants you to know that nothing is impossible. And um, somebody going to help you to like lift your spirits. But I'm going to go on to the extended to figure out new person versus old person and also your finances i'm gonna do it just like that too i'm gonna do a spread for the new person spread for the old person and hidden messages what would they say and then your finances i'm a visual i'm just <laughs> i'm telling y'all but i'm really trying to tell myself on the low on the low on the low i send you all so much love and light <laughs>